We have the Steve Bannon sentence, Wilfred. You know, he's been in court today. He was convicted of two counts, uh, two crimes of not appearing uh, before a congressional committee that wanted to hear from him with regard to the January the 6th insurrection. Sentence has now been handed down. He's been sentenced to four months in prison and fined six and a half thousand dollars. But that has been stayed pending appeal, which he intends to proceed with now. That could take... Uh, anything up to and beyond a year. So he walks from court, but he has been convicted. We knew that already. Today, he has been sentenced four months and six and a half thousand dollars, far short of what the prosecution was after. They wanted a maximum jail term of two years and a maximum fine of two hundred thousand dollars. So something short of what they were after. Banner's defence lawyers, they had wanted probation. They argued that, um, that he was protected by executive privilege. That was knocked out by the judge who disagreed. And uh, following conviction, he's now handed down that sentence. We await to hear whether or not uh, Bannon will have words for us after his appearance. He did have something to say on his way inside the federal court. Let's have a listen. Remember, this illegitimate regime their, their judgment day is on 8 November, when the Biden administration ends. I want to thank you all for coming. Thanks. Bannon talking about the 8th of November. That, of course, the U.S. midterm elections. The question is, of course, with regard to this January the 6th committee and subpoenas in general, is the other individual who, for whom a subpoena is in the post, Donald Trump himself. We expect more... Uh, word on that and when it will actually be sent to him later today. But this January the 6th committee, it wants to hear from the former president. Bannon's appearance and his sentence today will no doubt concentrate the mind of Donald Trump. But, uh, you know, there are issues around dragging Donald Trump before the committee that there were not, perhaps, with Steve Bannon. Uh, all sorts of legal obstacles with regard to a former president. Issues of timing as well because of the midterms, depending on how they go, then the, this committee could be wrapped up and with it, the subpoena itself. So Donald Trump, we await to hear how he will respond to this particular subpoena. But he is a man facing legal troubles on a number of fronts. And frankly, I think the business of this committee and the subpoena that it will send to him probably today, uh, it uh, is probably... Uh, the least of his worries. I understand we've heard from Steve Bannon on his exit from court. Let's have a listen to what he had to say. Can't can, can we all just get along? That's not my line. Um, anyway, uh, so as you know, Mr. Bannon was sentenced today. As usual. We love that vote. As usual, uh, the judge listened carefully and uh, entered a decision that he thought was appropriate. We certainly fully respect hey, the judge's don't decision, don't you, right? but uh, we will be filing a notice of appeal, as the judge indicated. Um, very grateful to the judge for thinking through the issues uh, candidly, and uh, it's an extraordinary move to permit a stay pending appeal. It was the appropriate move. There are, the standard is whether the case raises substantial issues that reasonable jurists could differ over, meaning is there a uh, solid chance for an appeal uh, to be successful? And uh, there certainly is more than that in that, this case. I've said before, and I would uh, confirm it, I believe that the appeal in this case is bulletproof. The issues, the constitutional issues involved in this case are very important, but Mr. Bannon never got to tell uh, the reasons for his actions with respect to the subpoena, never got to tell his story because the government, insist the government insisted from day one on prohibiting any mention, any evidence, or any discussion to go before the jury as to uh, why Mr. Bannon reacted as he did uh, to the subpoena on the advice of counsel. Thank you very much. Look forward to adjudicating Mr. the appeal. Your, your silence was no worthy during the case, Mr. Bannon. Yeah. His silence was in my direction. Yeah. Hey, hang on. I, I, I want to. <clears throat> by the way, I want to say one thing. I, I respect uh, the judge. The sentence he came down with today is his decision. I fully respect. I've been totally respectful of this entire process uh, on the legal side. I also want to make one other statement before I talk about a broader topic. 
more than any person in the Trump administration. I testified before the Mueller Commission for more hours. I testified in front of uh, Chair Schiff in the House Intelligence Committee more than any other person in the Trump administration. I, attest, I testified in front of the Senate Intelligence, I think more than any, all about the issues related uh, to, uh, to Russia Gate, to all of that, okay? The same process every time. I had lawyers that were engaged, they worked through the issues of privilege, and at that time I went and testified. And, I, and, and this thing about uh, I'm above the law is an absolute and total lie. Now, more importantly, more, more importantly, the judge, today was my judgment day by the judge, and he stated in, for the appeal, and we'll have a very vigorous appeals process. I've got a great legal team, and there'll be multiple areas of appeal. But as that sign says right there, can we have the vote sign? On November 8th, on November 8th, on November 8th, there's going to have judgment on the illegitimate Biden regime. And quite frankly, and quite frankly, the Nancy Pelosi and the entire committee. And we know which way that's going. Either they've already been turfed out like Liz Cheney, right, or have quit like Kinzinger and other the Democrats, or they're about to be beaten like Luria and others, or they will lose their power and become a minority and Nancy Pelosi and, and uh, Tom's chairman challenges all of it. This is a, this is a, this is democracy. This is democracy. The American people are way in measuring what went on with the Justice Department and how they comported themselves. They're weighing and measuring that right now, and they will vote on November 8th. They will hang on. They will vote. Hang on. They will. They will notice your silence. They will note. They. Anything you want to say to them? Can I go ahead and finish? Can I? Thanks. On November 8th. On November 8th, the American people will raise judgment, and we will groom. The Biden administration ends on the eighth evening of the eighth of November. And let me be. Let me. Some other thing is that the Department of Justice, Merrick Garland, will end up being the first attorney general that's brought up on charges of impeachment, and he will be removed from office. Thank you very much. There you go, Steve Bannon, outside that federal court building, a party political broadcast on behalf of Steve Bannon, rather, there. He had much to say outside court. He had nothing to say in terms of giving evidence on his own behalf inside court. His lawyer today at sentencing described the January the 6th committee as a partisan political body with no interest in investigation. All eyes now turn to Donald Trump with regard to the January 6th committee and its subpoena for Donald Trump. But likewise, he has dismissed its work as a high-level political witch hunt, whether or not we see the former president before his January the 6th inquisitors on that committee is very much an open question. Thanks so much.